It doesn't have to start as a horror game to leave us absolutely terrified. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we'll be looking at the scariest video game mods. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at community mods that brought the fear factor to a game, especially if it wasn't a horror game to start with. We're basing our choices on a mix of spooky atmosphere, haunting design, and how each change affects the larger game. Though most of these mods are supposed to freak you out, we're also including several that are scary despite their clearly comedic intentions. I'm Todd Habercorn, and if you get scared, well, you have no one to blame but yourself. These are perfect mods, best community mods ever, the tremendous. Word of warning, if I mispronounce any of the modders' names, I apologize. Please, cyber bullies in the comments section, I have already warned you, I may mess up on name pronunciation. Thank you. Let's get ready to mojo! <laughs> Obscurum Pandemic by Thumblestein, Toasted Baby, RJ and Azrael 831. Fallout, New Vegas. While survival is a core challenge in Fallout, New Vegas, the Obscurum Pandemic mod turns that stress into scares. Obscurum builds its own lore into New Vegas, with a plague spreading death across the already desolate landscape. The mod completely revamps the game's map with intense darkness and fog settings so that hunting for supplies becomes a frightful experience all its own. While you can eventually take the land back, you'll get goosebumps early on trying to get by as prey. By focusing the usually open world into something more demanding, this particular pandemic will have you screaming at every turn. Lemon Grab Scream by Geometric Death Trap. Huh, that's a good band name, actually. Minecraft. <laughs> Lemon Grab has become infamous as one of the most hilariously psychotic characters on Adventure Time. <laughs> So, modern geometric death trap tried to inject some of his uh, charm into the blocky world of Minecraft by adding the characters wailing to the game's creepers. The sound clip fits the wind up time for TNT perfectly, so the audio comically peaks with the item's explosion. But with the creepers themselves, their yell is slowed to a demonically bass heavy level. <laughs> The drawn out cry is so unnervingly guttural that Lemon Grab's voice feels equally pained and satanic. And while it began as a goofy change, the sheer terror it resulted in was pure nightmare fuel. <laughs> the Death Tunnel by Rose Rosenberg, Fallout 4. There's already enough to face in this post-apocalyptic world, so this modder got creative and added an area within the larger map itself. The aptly titled Death Tunnel opens players to a world of horror as 1,800 ghouls loom around its caverns. Though it can play out like a horde mode at times, there's also tension in just staying hidden from the next hundred enemies. The spooky ambiance is enhanced with ominous sounds, heavy shadows, and plenty O skeletons. If your heads up display is disabled too, the tunnel feels right out of a survival horror game. And considering it's hidden within the rest of the map, it's terrifying to imagine stumbling into the death tunnel by accident in a regular playthrough. Pennywise as Mr. X by Marcos R.C. Resident Evil 2. After dealing with handfuls of lingering zombies in Resident Evil 2, you're put face to face with the giant and seemingly invincible Mr. X. 
While his booming footsteps and emotionless approach are frightening enough, creator Marcos R.C. decided to make a Pennywise makeover in time for the release of It Chapter 2. <laughs> the clown look is eerily lanky, and his grin adds a hair-raising edge to all of his recovery animations. Can you imagine accidentally bumping into this thing while sneaking around corners? While the Texas Chainsaw Massacre-inspired Leatherface mod is fun too, there's a unique chill to dealing with a clown in the sewer sections. Just make sure you don't let him catch you, otherwise... Leon will end up floating too! Pop, pop. <laughs> Monster Mod by Dogtown 1, Fallout New Vegas. Thanks to all the bright lights in the radiated city of New Vegas, it's easy for many of its creatures to grow mundane over time. That's where this monster mash of a mod comes in, adding 130 new creatures with unnatural deformations and decomposed bodies. The timely respawns also keep you on your toes with more unsightly monsters anytime you return to an area. If that wasn't freaky enough, nighttime gets even more bone chilling as werewolves and ghouls emerge in the dark. Fun! With this range of ghastly characters you can fight in this mod, playing New Vegas may never be relaxing again. Really Useful Dragons by Train Wiz, Hai Shao, and Shippen. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the fantastical world of Skyrim, the dragons are usually the most fear inducing beings in the land. So while a Thomas the Tank Engine bum 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 skin for the winged beasts is funny in theory, the results are actually haunting. The train's blank stares are unnerving, and their eyes also go nightmarishly dark whenever they breathe fire. A major lack of articulation leaves the tank engine's movement looking sinister as well, especially as they fly and crawl. Ooh yeah, Macho Man Randy Savage's mod has some eerily proportioned designs too, but its excessive use of mottos are easier to laugh at. After a couple off the rails train fights on the other hand, any steam whistle in the game will leave you shuddering. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Cry of Fear by Team Saiskalar, Half-Life. Admit it, every mod can only dream of measuring up to this achievement. After waking up from an accident, shaken protagonist Simon finds himself thrust into a living nightmare where everyone is either deranged or a monster waiting to rip his face off. Say hello to the Half-Life mod that now exists as a standalone game. <laughs> With photo taking sections making great use of the camera flash, navigation through the game is both tense and filled with plenty of opportunities or jump scares. But it's the layers of ambient and threatening noises that will really have you hiding under the covers. Plus, with all the heartbreaking consequences to the choice based story, it's easy to be frightened by your own moral compass by the time you finish. Good luck! <laughs> Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.